What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, welcome to Mother Truck News. Email us at mothertrucknews at gmail.com. Definitely want to share this story here. We had a trucking couple. I want to share their story. Uh, they went trucking together. They were gone for four months, and they lived in California. And when they got back, basically, there were people squatting in their home. And when they tried to kick them out, they couldn't even kick them out. Law enforcement actually sided with the squatters, and it took months before they could get their home back. You know, that is the craziest thing that I've ever heard in my life. Uh, they're doing it in California. They're doing it in New York. They're actually doing it across the nation. Well, Governor DeSantis actually just put into law that the squatter scam, as he calls it, it's over. If someone tries to say that they are squatting or they are living in your home, all you got to do is is you go get the sheriff, I believe, uh, you fill out some paperwork, and the sheriff will kick them out so that you could get back in. I can't believe this is even a situation, but it is a situation. Just like this trucky couple that emailed me and said, man, we wish we had Governor DeSantis for California. I'm telling you. And I know a little bit about this because I used to own a couple of small fourplexes and man, they would get squatters jumping into my units and it would take me six, seven, eight months. Even if they knew that they were in the wrong, they knew that there was a process to this and they would work the system. So it's the craziest thing I've ever heard. So good for Florida. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's great to be back here in Central Florida. I want to thank the state attorney, Andrew Bain, for hosting us today. I also want to welcome Sheriff uh, Dennis Lima from nearby Seminole County. Uh, we also have Representative Steele, Placencia, Amnesty. Um, I saw True Now. I saw David Smith. So I've seen other folks, too. Uh, and then we're going to hear from some other folks, uh, Justin uh, Milkerick, Winter Park resident, and Flash Shelton from California is going to talk a little bit about why we're here. So we're, we're here today because, you know, you assume in America, uh, if you uh, purchase a home and own a residence, that that's your residence. That if you happen to maybe split time in Orlando and Michigan, that if you go to Michigan over the summer, people aren't going to be able to just move into your house and then claim squatters rights on your private residence. And yet, in places like New York and California, that's exactly what's happening in this country. Homes are being invaded, uh, and those states and their laws are not siding with the homeowners, they're siding with the squatters. Uh, in fact, we uh, have seen squatters move in and claim residence. Uh, this forces a massive, long, drawn-out judicial review before they can even be removed from the property. These are people that never had a right to be in the property to begin with. Uh, earlier this month in New York, a woman returned to a property she inherited to find squatters living there. She changed the locks to get them out, and the state of New York arrested her instead of the squatters. Uh, just a few days ago, two squatters in New York City allegedly murdered the property owner when she confronted them for being in her apartment illegally. In fact, we even have illegal aliens taking to social media, instructing other foreigners how to come into this country and commandeer property. They have gotten involved in this. Well, today in the state of Florida, uh, we say very simply, uh, what, what passes muster in New York and California is not passing muster here. Uh, you are not going to be able to commandeer somebody's private property uh, and expect to get away with it. We are in the state of Florida ending the squatter scam once and for all. And Momentarily, I'll be signing HB 6, uh, 621, which will give the homeowner the ability to quickly and legally remove a squatter from a property and which will increase criminal penalties for squatting. Now, we have not had uh, the same type of issues here as you've seen in California or New York. Nevertheless, uh, our laws were really geared 
towards this not necessarily being a fad. You know, this idea of squatting, you know, when you had the old West and people would settle the West, you'd show up, there'd be a place, so people would settle, they'd create a community. Well, to have someone come seven, eight years later and say they own the property after all this, you understood why, you know, that was done in that way. Uh, that was never intended to empower somebody to just invade some residential subdivision and occupy, illegally occupy somebody's private residence. So what we're doing today is, is recognizing that, but I think more importantly, providing very swift remedies. Because what the squatters know is even when they're in the wrong, it's a massive process many times before they can be evicted. Uh, and a lot of times the process is very expensive. And so we don't want the law to have the thumb on the scale in favor of people that are violating the law. We want the law to have the thumb on the scale in, in favor of law-abiding property owners, and that's what you're going to see here with this piece of legislation. What you can do now, if you're the victim of squatting, uh, you can simply fill out a form, give it to your local sheriff, and the sheriff is instructed to go and remove the people who are inhabiting your dwelling illegally. And that will happen very quickly. And I can guarantee you, it's just like you saw, uh, I think it was a couple months ago, there was a discussion about some of these theft rings that happen, a lot of them with illegal aliens, and how people will steal in New York Sometimes they'll try to come to Florida to spend the money, but they don't steal in Florida. And the question was, well, why don't you steal in Florida? And they said, because you go to jail in Florida when you do that. <laughs> so I think it's going to be similar here. Yes, you're going to have really strong remedies so that if it does happen to you, they're going to be ejected. But the fact that you have those remedies, the fact that a Sheriff Lima can go in, send deputies, and liberate your residence for you very quickly, people are not going to want to even try this in the state of Florida. So I commend the legislature for this action. I think it's going to be something that is going to be very, very meaningful uh, for this state. And look, uh, you see these trends that happen in these other parts of the country. Uh, I think good leadership is looking and saying, OK, uh, we're not going to repeat what is going on in these failed jurisdictions. And so the legislature was up to the task, and then here today we're signing this into law, is going to show that the state of Florida is up to the task. So I thank the legislature for what they've done. Uh, we believe in the rule of law. We believe in private property rights. We think it's good that people can aspire to own a home. You know, we even are proud that we've got a lot of seasonal residents here. You know, it's great that people will uh, maybe decide to come to Florida for, for half the year. Uh, and if they do do that and they go to uh, the Northeast or the Midwest or even Canada, many people do, that uh, they can their house will be uh, left unattended. Uh, they're not going to have some rogue person move in and then try to assert rights against the lawful property owner. So uh, the squatter scam ends today uh, with my signature on this piece of legislation, and the state of Florida will be better for it.